So you're thinking about starting your own self-publishing business. Great. That's exactly what I did. I'm going to share with you the steps you should take so that you don't have to pay a whole lot of money. Hello, Monique, self-published indie author, here to share with you the ins and outs of self-publishing. If this is your first time here, then please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget that like and comment. And you might want to hit that notification so that you know when I upload a new video. Let me go ahead and say you don't need to start an LLC. You really don't. When I first started, I was doing it as DBA or doing business as. However, the majority of my books are non-fictions and they're geared to help people. And even though there is a disclaimer at the beginning of all my books, I didn't want to take a chance. And I wanted to keep my business finance as well as my personal finances separate. When I decided to create my LLC, this was about the time CreateSpace was closing its doors. So since I already had to move my books over for KDP, I figured I'd go ahead and use my own ISPNs. So January 1st, 2018, I created my company. The steps are pretty easy and you really don't have to go to someplace like Legal Zoom to do it. So if this is something that you would be interested in, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is think of a name. Yeah. What name do you want your business to be known as? And make a list and not just one, have several because you never know if that name has already been taken. When you have your list of names, go to the business search of your state and put the name that you want to use. I'm using Jones Publishing because I could have used Smith or Johns or anything, something common. Let's see what pops up. So here's every name with Jones. And since it's an ABC order, there is no Jones Publishing. So if I wanted to do a business as Jones Publishing, I could because there isn't one in the state of Florida. Now, as soon as I have that name, I'm going to go and get a box for it. Now, you can get a mailbox, but some places rather you have a physical address and not the U.S. Post Office. So, one way around it is using a virtual mailbox or, as I did at first, using a box at the UPS store. I basically went ahead and paid for the year. Once I had that address in hand, I then went ahead to register my business. Registering your business is pretty straightforward. You either go to your Department of State of your state or any place where businesses are registered. For me, in the state of Florida, it's the Florida Department of State. The fees for this will vary with each state. So some people will pay more, some people will pay less. That's just how it is. As I said, filling it out is pretty straightforward and you now have the address that you're going to use for your business. Once you filled it out and filed it and you have that registration for your business, the next thing you're going to want to do is to go to the IRS. Yes, irs.gov. You're going to need an EIN 
for your business. And EIN is basically the social security number for your business. Yes. It didn't take long for me to get my response back. And I actually had enough time to go ahead and go to my credit union. Now, remember, I had just over a thousand dollars to start this business. And all I really spent so far was about three fifty. So I still had six hundred and fifty to go. And what was my big purchase? Yes, you got it. My ISPNs. Look, a lot of people are one way about ISPNs, some are another. For me, I want my business ISPNs on my books. So I went ahead and bought my first hundred, which didn't last long since I had to use them on all the books I already had published in CreateSpace. And then I also gave my ebooks ISPNs because some distributors want ISPNs for your ebooks. Some don't. Now, basically, these steps are for anybody wanting to start any business. It doesn't have to be publishing. Of course, with publishing, we have not only the ISPNs, we have our cover designers, we have our editors, we have everything. This is how I started my publishing business, and I'm already at four years. So I plan to have a celebration for the fifth year, and I can't wait. What about you? Have you thought about starting your own business? Let me know in the comments below. Coming up next is this video that I think you might like. And over here is a business YouTube thinks you might like. And until next time, I will see you later.